born on 14th March 1957, Reverend Father Monsignor Lawrence Mukasa was raised by his parents, the late Stephen Rutwama, a teacher, and Elizabeth Namusoke, a nurse, at Nabwiri village in Ibusuju sub-county in Mtiana district. He belongs to Engeye clan of the central Buganda region. Ordained in 1984, Mukasa has been a Catholic priest for 39 years. 1969, the Holy Father came, Pope Paul VI, to visit Uganda. And my father was determined to, to go to Kampala and at least be part of those who will receive him. We are eight siblings in the family. So he says, one of you is going to accompany me on this trip. But we are going to do it by lot. And uh, he had to bring in the lots and it fall on me to go with him. The little boy Mukasa received a blessing from Pope Paul VI in July 1969, who was visiting Uganda. Perhaps this was the beginning of his journey into the religious life. So the Pope came. He was blessing the sick people seated. And I was there as a little boy. So he didn't touch, but he blessed the, the sick people who were there. My father took it as if he particularly blessed me. But even before he joined in Swanjere Preparatory Seminary, Mukasa was brought up in a strong Catholic family and would occasionally imitate priests. I would take a banana leaf and uh, uh, turn it into a chasubo, this kind of thing. On 24th June 1984, the then Bishop of Kinda Mitiana Diocese, Emmanuel Wamara, now the Cardinal, ordained Mukasa a priest at Mwera Parish. The two have maintained a cordial relationship and recently saw the Cardinal's blessing. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time with him. It was about 10 minutes. But those 10 minutes to me were most valuable. He was ordained in that little tent there. That's where we came as young seminarians to witness his consecration and it made a very big impression on us for the first time to see a bishop being ordained in our midst. Monsignor Mukasa has been the vicar general of Kinda Mitiana Diocese for the last 18 years. And so, on the 21st of April, the Holy Father Pope Francis appointed Monsignor Lawrence Mukasa, the third bishop of Kasanaruero Diocese. On Edi El Fitri, it was a Friday, Friday the 21st, I received a call from the nuncio. Archbishop Luigi Bianco, uh, wondering whether we could meet. He was trying to schedule an appointment, whether we could meet at his residence in Mbuya on Saturday the 22nd, and he gave me the time at 9. Monsignor Mukasa accepted the call to join the Episcopate, although it had been unexpected. And he told me that I have some news for you. You, the Holy Father has appointed you the third bishop of Casanaluelo. He told me, ask me a question. Do you accept? Despite accepting the new responsibility, Monsignor Mukasa is still asking himself why he was the one chosen out of hundreds of priests, some of them with more quality than him. Uh, to be honest with you, it still haunts me, it still disturbs me. How am I going to handle this responsibility to which I don't measure? The news of his appointment was a surprise to many, and it's a secret matter because the search is always conducted by the Pope Nuncio. He asks privately. This includes the clergy, especially those whom, who know you, whom they think they know you better. And in the end, he's lost at something. And he recommends, it to, he recommends that name to, to the Holy Father. Monsignor Mukasa will be replacing Paul Semogerere, who was elevated to the position of Archbishop of Kampala, who in turn replaced another former Bishop of Kasanaruero, the late Dr. Sipian Kizitorwanga. When the date will be fixed, which I don't know right now, on that day I will take the canonical uh, position of that diocese. And that's where my work will is going to begin. 
But when I go there, my first assignment is to listen to them. Because they know where they are coming from. They know where they have arrived. They know where they want to go. You can see they are marked. There is a matter there. This is Together with Bishop Anthony Zwa, the current Bishop of Kindamitiana Diocese, and chairperson of Episcopal Conference, Monsignor Mkasa, has been at the pinnacle of this cathedral, anchored on three Uganda matters, Matia Morumba, Nua Mawagali, and Luka Banabachinto. They found them in prayer there. He was catechizing the catechumenists in that little hut there. And as you can see on that statue there, he was speared death there. He died there. So this for us is a very holy, holy place. Now a shepherd of Kasanaru Wero Diocese, Monsignor Mukasa, has a message to the clergy and the parents. So my appeal is to all of us, the priests. We must pay attention to the apostolate of little children. We must make time to go to schools and visit and talk to the kids. Uh, be near them. Let them ask whatever question they want. Jingo Francis, NTV, Weekend Edition.